Hey guys, I'm Travis2888. Um, I was working on a new intro video for my channel and was kind of checking Facebook and things as well at the same time. And it just came across some madness um, and it just kind of stopped me in my tracks and I decided to do a video for that instead, uh, or as well as. So we're going to get started. This is obviously you can tell by the title what this is about. It's about the news um, and Maguire the uh, school teacher who was sadly killed um, and the kind of media's responses to it um, the way that they're treating it the way they're treating a, a certain suspect I mean don't get me wrong um, if it turns out to be this person then fine um, but I think it's important to raise some points and uh, that's that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to uh, jump over to the computer. I've got the internet open on a few different sites, um, and we're going to look at some of the responses and some of the news reports and things like that that are involved with this story, basically. So I'll see you there. Okay, this is where uh, I started my um, journey or interest in uh, this particular story uh, I'm just going to close my webcam, there we are uh, this is my cousin Jack Jester Allen um, he's kind of shared this via Dylan Clark who's I assume one of his friends and um, this is a story that the Daily Mail has run about um, Al Maguire's stabbing. Now before I go on to any of the details of this Daily Mail madness uh, I'm just gonna show a few things that I think are important um, firstly this is a woman this is someone who is someone's friend uh, someone's family member and I think it's important that if you watch this video and you feel strongly about it that you should bear that in mind this is someone who had a life and that's been taken away from her and that's not right in any situation so if you feel like trolling or griefing or anything like that then um, just think about that before you post anything and also I'd just like to recognize that Anne Maguire um, the woman that she was uh, first off council workers covering floral tributes outside the school um, came down to protect them from the rain, huge amounts of tribute for this for this lady. Um, she was a teacher, incredible job, um, really important, and it is sad. Um, and obviously, uh, I believe it's a Catholic school, um, and you can see down here uh, that the Pope has said some words. David Cameron has said some words, and Ed Miliband have said some words. Uh, we'll put aside all the political side of it and everything like that. I'm just trying to point out that a lot of people have given their condolences and their best wishes to her family. Uh, it's also worth noting that uh, on, <laughs> again, on the Mail Online, I know, uh, but this has redirected me from another news website, uh, and this is something that's true. Ignore the wording, because the Mail is very biased in a lot of ways uh, but just look at the message um, her sister uh, unfortunately passed away in her 30s due to illness and uh, she Anne Maguire raised her sister's children um, as her own effectively and it, that's that's incredible uh, and that's the, the, I just really want to stress how important it is to remember that this is uh, a woman's life we're talking about here. Uh, and I'm not in any way disregarding the crime that has been committed here. Um, and whoever it is that's done it, uh, whether it be this person that is this schoolboy uh, accused of stabbing her, or whether it be someone else, uh, it's important to remember that no matter how much I rant about this this Daily Mail rant that's coming, uh, it's important to remember that, that someone has lost their life. And we should be thinking of her family right now and, and her children as well. Um, so with, with that said, 
uh, it's time to look at the Daily Mail's take on this news story. Now, there is a schoolboy who uh, has been accused of stabbing a Maguire. And I don't know as to how recent this news is. This was published, well, quarter past ten on the 29th of April. I mean, that's practically, while I'm recording this, practically 24 hours ago. So I don't know as to what the, the most recent updates are on the story. Now, um, the the headline immediately is uh, something... Uh, saying a schoolboy who was 15, accused of stabbing teacher, was Loner, who played online video games, Dark Souls, and Grand Theft Auto. This is something that's been going on for a very, very long time, which is that video games are being blamed for a lot of violent acts, almost exclusively uh, without any regard for any other environmental effects or influences and that's not quite right i mean i'm pretty sure that murders were being carried out and uh, bizarre murders and strange off the cuff madness was going on long before any sort of video games came out uh so basically reading this um and the way that the daily mail has written it um this is what's made me angry, and this is what made me want to uh, make this video. So we're going to go down. Uh, right. Opening statement. The 15-year-old accused of stabbing to death as teacher chose to sit alone in lessons and was a fan of online video games, class might say today. Right. Fine. Okay. That's fi fact. Okay. He's 15 years old. Um, he chooses to sit alone in lessons. There are a lot of children. I did that while I was at school. I was very antisocial. Um, and he was a fan of online video games. Now, his classmates, have, his classmates have said that. How many of his classmates was he playing with? Now, this is a 15-year-old boy, and they're using evidence that he was a fan of online video games as, as something that needs to be considered. Right? Now, I'm sorry, but I, I literally cannot imagine any 15-year-old boy not playing video games. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, he has been described as a depressed introvert. He spent long periods online playing video games. Okay, fine. Again, something it's a common social thing. A lot of teenagers find it difficult to socialize, um, and video games give them a chance to. That in itself, he is a depressed introvert, right? That can't be correct if he's spending long times, long periods of time, playing online video games. He is playing with other people. Now, if he was an introvert, um, you feel free to look up the definition of it, but if he was an introvert, then he would not be playing online. He would be playing single player, um, and he would be playing by himself. He wouldn't be playing online. Uh, it, does, it doesn't make any sense. So, they are trawling social media pages linked to the schoolboy. Fine. Fair enough. That's that's a standard police procedure. Who used a drawing of a Grim Reaper as the banner on his Facebook page. Okay, now, um, let's... I mean, I'm hoping that something comes up here. Let's have a quick look. Uh, most common... Facebook. In fact, no, no, most common Facebook banner pictures. Let's have a look and see. Images for most common. Oh, well, I. It may not have anything here. I love Facebook because of blah, blah, blah. Right, there's there's nothing really here. Okay, fine. Um, let's go back to the main page. What I'm trying to say, uh, what I'm trying to point out, you know, he uses a drawing of a Grim Reaper. Right? Uh, he wasn't dressing up as the Grim Reaper. He wasn't proclaiming himself to be the Grim Reaper. It, it's a picture on his Facebook page. That, you know, how many pictures are there on people's Facebook pages? Uh, but anyway, that's not a big thing anyway. Um, his profiles on Google Plus and YouTube also revealed his keen interest in Dark Souls, a video game. This is something that I can definitely find some facts for. Uh, Dark Souls. Souls UK sales. Let's have a look. 
blah, 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 UK sales. All right, okay, fine. I forgot one important word. UK sales figures. Let's have a quick look. UK damage, blah, blah, blah. Worldwide sales of 2.3 million. Okay, worldwide, that's a lot. However, so he has an interest in Dark Souls. So do 2.3 million other people. Okay? One girl from his art class. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, classmate said today, the middle class teenager. I don't know why uh, middle class has to be something that's, that's mentioned. Um, who loved heavy metal music. Again, I... You know, I don't know why that needs to be something. Uh, felt he was an outcast and would isolate himself in school. Again, what percentage of children will isolate themselves from other children? School is not a nice place. Uh, there are horrible children. You know, you are going to step yourself away. So anyway, my girl from his art class said he was very bright, top sets for everything, good at drawing too, if he comes from a loving family, and his family love him. Fantastic, right? Now, if you're going to take a quote from someone... Uh, in this situation, it's worth mentioning. Later on, I will mention it a uh, thing down later on. Uh, but it's worth remembering these people are from his classes. These are teenagers. These are children. They're, they're literally just assumptions that they've made and impressions that they've had uh, of what's going on. Now, let's go back to this again. Now, this is Blues the Boy. Rest of the police. Okay, fine. Police have said they're aware of his online presence, which is forming part of their investigation. Fine, you have to use the internet. Fine. The teenager was also a member of Achievement Hunter, a gaming community, and would challenge and interact with other PS3 players online. Okay, first off, first major contradiction. Challenge and interact with other PS3 players. We'll go up to the top. Depressed introvert. Now, I don't think an introvert would be challenging and interacting with other players and uh, his Facebook profile picture shows him wearing one of the website's t-shirts which would have been ordered from the United States again I don't I don't understand why that's important so uh, let's go back here how ooh, steady how many members are in achievement hunter achievement hunter the rooster teeth wiki now the fact that he bought the t-shirt, that means he's not actually part of the team of Achievement Hunter. I, d I doubt that he is actually someone in the Achievement Hunter team. He is a fan of Achievement Hunter. Um, and I'm not going to find the figures I need from this page. So give me a second and we will check out. Do, do, do. He will check out. We will check out the... Uh, right. Uh, Achievement Hunter by Rooster Teeth. Now there are 2.7 thousand episodes of Achievement Hunter on its own, and Rooster Teeth in general has 7 million subscribers. Right? So, he's got an Achievement Hunter t shirt. Okay, cool. He previously threatened to commit suicide after complaining of bullying and had experimented with drugs. Now, the drugs thing would have come back to later because there is a quote later on which is ridiculous uh threatened to commit suicide okay again how many teenagers have said that and our neighbors added that he would not make eye contact with them or acknowledge their greetings as he walked past again a common thing for a young person to not talk to their neighbors or uh especially a shy person you're a kid you're not going to respond to every neighbor like, oh hi how's it going it's just the way he was he was shy he's an introvert you know you can't use that against him. You can't use this not make eye contact thing against him if he's an introvert. That doesn't make any sense. Now, his mother uh, was a responsible and attentive parent. Cool, that's fine. Uh, classmates described the alleged killer as a loner who did well in all subjects apart from Spanish. Uh, that's a big coincidence. Uh, he had apparently tried to kill himself several times. A former pupil said, again, children, he used to say he was being bullied, and he was really weird. He didn't say much. Right, fine. So you say he was being bullied, but also didn't say much. All right, whatever. This is probably the point where I started getting very angry. Uh, this is an ex-pupil. So this is someone who's 17, maybe, or maybe they dropped out of school. I don't know. The point is, this is a pupil, a child, and this is your source? This is where you're getting your information from to make the news? A child, right? And this child is saying 
He often went into school carrying Jack Daniels and beer, and that he was a goth who drew circles on the floor, claiming to worship the devil. Right. Okay, that... I, <laughs> I mean, that in itself... For one thing, where would he have got Jack Daniels and beer from? It sounds like his parent, his mother was uh, fairly responsible. Uh, what, Jack Daniels and beer. He used to come into often went into school carrying Jack Daniels and beer. Right. Not drinking it, not getting spotted at any point, not getting pulled up on this at any point by anybody, really? And it, it was a goth who drew circles on the floor claiming to worship the devil. Right, fine. Again... Let's let's assume for a second that uh, he is a goth. Let's assume for a second that he claims to worship the devil, or he he worships the devil, or whatever. You know, he's fifteen. He is a child. Um, he, he he's finding himself. A lot of people do weird things when they're at school. You know, there are a lot of weird people at school who will say and do weird things. Um. This is the teacher. And uh, we got some videos. Right. Now, this is the drug's quote. This is from the same source as the uh, he was a golf and drew circles and stuff. He added, he came to a party a few weeks ago and he took some paracetamol beforehand. He used to take drugs all the time. Now... <laughs> Ignoring the ridiculousness of that statement, because paracetamol, really? Okay, fine. Also, he used to be on antidepressants. Right. So do you not think that as a child, or as a 15-year-old, seeing a kid taking these tablets, you're going to make assumptions, especially if he's alone, or especially if he's on his own. He's taking antidepressants every day, two, three times a day, perhaps. I mean, I don't know how regularly it's happening. But he's taking these pills. Now, at school, obviously, people are going to see that. And, you know, it's going to go, oh, he's taking drugs. Oh, my God. And that, that's what it becomes. <laughs> but, like, re he took some paracetamol. Really? Um, I mean, does that, does that mean he's taking drugs? I mean, they're the drugs. But, like, oh, I've got a cold. I'll better take some flu medicine. Oh, God, now I need crack. I, it, it's ridiculous. Um, this is the thing, right? Jacob Hill, blah, 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 Matthew Calvert. These are all children. These are all classmates. Described him as strange. Like, fine, okay. Now, on his Facebook page, along with the Grim Reaper drawing and links to British heavy metal bands, he had posted a picture of himself dressed in black with long hair. Jesus Christ. You know what? I think that is the perfect profile of the average murderer. Oh no! Wait, no, no. Sorry, sorry, I'm wrong. That's uh, that's the average profile of a teenager who is alternative um, and likes to have his own image, and is a fairly common thing. Uh, I mean, really, this is evidence, really. It's just ridiculous, right? So we're gonna carry on. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Da -da -da -da. A lot of people didn't talk to him. They didn't see him. Blah blah. blah. Now this this bit here, they're both quiet boys. If you said hello, they probably wouldn't say hello back. I would say they were a bit weird. Both of them. Both shy. They don't have a father. I mean, it looks as if the mother has raised them. You know, it's... <laughs> of course they're going to be shy and introverted. And I, it's just... I'm trying to do this um, as a video to try and get the point across of what the Daily Mail is doing here. It's very, very difficult for me to not be angry. Very, very difficult. Because this is ridiculous. Now, the Daily Mail have sent this out, right? They have sent this out alongside the other news story that I showed you before uh, of... Uh, oh, Jesus. Of um, Anne Maguire and how she was an angel, and, and everything like that. Now, these two stories came out, this came out at 1.30 on the 30th of April, three hours after this. Right? Now, it's ridiculous. It is literally ridiculous.
ridiculous. Millions of people subscribe to this channel. Millions of people like heavy metal music. Millions of people play Dark Souls and Grand Theft Auto. Don't get me wrong, people under 18 should not be playing an 18 rated game. I'm not going to I'm not going to ignore that fact that shouldn't be happening. However, that's not the cause and I am sick and tired of this madness, this propaganda against video games. What the hell is going on? Do you ever see something like this? Okay, how about this? Schoolboy, 15, accused of stabbing teacher, was Man United fan who listened to Eminem. Yeah, rap music had its day. Rap music had its day where it was linked to violent crimes very, very heavily. And still now in the background, kind of. But it's never pulled forward as being the main cause. Um, how many violent acts are carried out in the name of a video game? How many violent acts are carried out in the name of defending your football team? How many riots have happened from people who play GTA 5? Or even, let's say, GTA 4. That's been out a decent length of time. And how many times have riots happened based on the results of a football match? Now, I'm not being all geeky and going, oh, jocks, blue. You know, I'm not a big football fan. But why? Why video games? Why always this? Why is this always the cause? It's not. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Anne Maguire, from everything I have read and everything I have seen, was a lovely woman. And nobody, and I mean nobody, deserves to be killed by another person. Regardless of the reasons. It should never happen. The fact that it has is sad. And the fact that it's happened to someone who was changing people's lives, is sad. However, sprouting malicious propaganda and trying to slander gaming and trying to slander a specific genre of music is, is not going to make any difference. You know the real news here? The real news here is the fact that if... If it was this schoolboy, then there was obviously something more going on. And that needs to be looked at. If he was depressed, if he was shy, that needs to be considered. Not his internet presence. Not the fact that he has, oh, the Grim Reaper as his Facebook profile page. What needs to be looked at is what people are saying about him. Look at his Facebook conversations. I can guarantee you... There will be people on there trolling him and slagging him off left, right and centre because he's weird. That's what needs to be considered. And that's it. Um, I've managed to hold in my main ranting. Um, I apologise if I've said anything that upsets anyone. However, if you are a Daily Mail reader... Um, and you support entirely what the Daily Mail is saying, um, you believe everything they say, and you you support it completely, um, then please unsubscribe from my channel, never watch any of my videos again, and never comment on anything I ever do. Um, and that's it really. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope people understand what I'm trying to say here and I hope that I haven't really offended anybody uh, and genuinely my thoughts do go out to Anne Maguire's uh, family um, to everybody that lives were changed because of her she was a teacher of course you know um, it's it's very important to remember this lady and what she's done uh, but it's also important to not set out on a witch hunt based on someone's interests you need to look at their um, their personality as a whole the environment they're in and the way that other people are being with them as well it's very very important to remember that um, so yeah that's it thank you for watching if you've uh, liked this video then please give it a thumbs up 
feel free to comment as long as it's respectful and also subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of the 88 Gaming Channel's videos. And have a good night YouTube.